Stay back. Tunnel play. Got it. Be careful. More tests. Lord must have carved these tunnels around the giant's traps. Good thing, too. Well, good for me, anyway. Oh, come on! That is not helping. See you on the other side. Another mining room. May not be as long a way up as we thought. the summit. How far do you think we'll be able to see? The lake? The world serpent? Our house? We will see when we get there. Until then, eyes open. Whoa! Atreus! I'm fine. Just lost my balance for a moment. You know, for someone so strong, you sure worry a lot. It serves me well, and how I keep us alive. I guess. Not a terribly fun way to live, though. should worry more. Is this where we get off? No, we are stuck. Huh. 
I think part of the lift is stuck in that wall. Can you get it free? How much farther do we have to go? I do not know. Think we'll get attacked again? Definitely. Oh boy. Yes. Now be ready. any moment. Adventure is over? For now. But we will have much to do. You were right earlier on the boat after cutting down the last tree. You said it felt like something had changed. And it has. And our home is no longer safe. But it will be again. And we must continue your training. Okay.
That was intense. Hold. Whoa, what was that? That looks like a root of the Yggdrasil tree. Is that its sap? Crystallized sap. And there is power inside. Incredible! I can't believe we fought a dragon. I was aiming for his eyes, but I kept losing my footing. Do you think this is their home? Did they move in after the giants left? Or are they why the giants left? Boy. The air grows thin here. No more questions. Breathe. Oh, yes. I see. Do you hear that? Sounds like someone's screaming. Wait, boy. It's Sindri. Can you kill something that big? If we can catch it off balance. I can distract him. What are you doing? We have to help him. Break right. Find an angle. Wait for my mark. Thank you.
Okay. Yeah. I have a plan. Be ready to lower the crane on my mark. I don't know how this thing works. I do not care. Be ready. Nobody's killed a dragon for hundreds of years. Not since the grand culling of the worms. And unless I'm mistaken, you did all that for me. You are mistaken. The dragon was simply in our path, nothing more. You deny it all you want, but you saved me. And that deserves compensation. What are these? <sighs> Braided mistletoe arrows. Straighter than Heimdall and perfectly weighted. Oh. Uh, thanks? Oh. Okay. Hold on. Uh, ooh, not that. Um, have you seen my brother again? Yeah. He said you lost your talent. <laughs> oh, and that I'm selfish. No. I'm sure. That I value a weapon's look. No. Over its purpose. That I'm pretentious. No. And uptight. Fussy. I know what he thinks, but he can't hurt me any- Ah! Burn that. I do not have time for this. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. I have a better idea. What? I just need a tooth from that dragon. Watch where you grab that. Oh, ah, never mind. Oh, so unclean. Oh, so so unclean. Oh, oh, the smell. Perfect. That should do. Oh. Yeah. I am not touching that. Just hold it out. Now, run that along the string of your son's bow. Just humor me. 
Atreus, your bow. Two passes should do it. Ah, gently, now. Whoa. Oh, sure. Now you're impressed. Um, oh, how do I explain this? I've added a new vibrating pattern to the bowstring fiber, aiming it at that... Oh, I see. Figured it out on your own, then. Just... never mind. I wasn't just explaining the beautiful and complex artistry of my craft or anything. No, just... anything to help you. Yep. To work we go! Was there more to discuss? Feels like it wasn't that long ago we were hunting deer. Now we've fought dark elves, and trolls, and ogres, and a dragon. I feel like we could be anything now. We win because we are determined, disciplined, not because we feel ourselves superior. Sure, I know. So, it feels good to be strong, you know? Yes, I know. Like this. Strange though. The mountain didn't completely blow up. That crystal. I shot it once, but it's glowing again.
is that? Now it's stuck on the other side. I will never get tired of shattering things with this. Look here, another. This one's called Emir. Mother tried to tell me this one, but I think I was too young. Are giants coming out of his armpits? I think that might be Odin stabbing him. What's that?
Wonder who wrote this. Atreus, to me! Not long now, Mom. Quiver. Strap broke when we fought the dragon. It's all right. I can hold it. Stop. A broken quiver will slow your draw. Pain we endure. Faulty weaponry we do not. This will do for now. Good? Steady, boy. Mind your footing. Those voices too, right? Yes. Be silent. Sorry. Touch a subject. You know why we're here. The last visit managed to loosen your tongue. That sounds like the same man who came to our house. You said you killed him. Shh. You've got company this time. It must be important if the sons of Thor deign to grace me with their presence. Tell me, you two still tripping over yourselves to impress Daddy? The tattooed man. Tracks show he now travels with a child. Where would they go next? Why would I know that? You the smartest man alive, aren't you? Smarter than all the dead ones, too. You help me, I help you. Tell me where they are, and I'll talk to Odin. Your father won't let me go, Baldur, and he won't let you kill me. You have nothing to offer me. So take your questions, take your threats, take these two worthless wankers, and piss off! When no one's looking, we'll be back for your other eye. Don't you forget, we're everywhere. We really are, aren't we?
Ah, the very topic of conversation. A tattooed man traveling with a child. Boy, check their path. Make sure we're all alone. But we just saw them leave. Do as I say. He doesn't know what you are. And I would keep it that way. Who are you? Me? I'm the greatest ambassador to thy gods, the giants, and all the creatures of the Nine Realms. I know every corner of these lands, every language spoken, every war waged, every deal struck. They call me Mimir, smartest man alive. And I have the answer to your every question. Why does the son of Odin hunt us? Okay, there are a few gaps in my knowledge. But Odin's had me imprisoned here for 109 winters. I'm a clever lad. I can piece it together. I promise. Just given time. Nobody there, just like I said. The boy's mother is dead. She wished her. She wanted us to spread her ashes on the highest peak in all the realms. Oh, then you've come to the wrong place, little brother. The highest peak in all the realms is not here in Midgard. It's in Jotunheim, realm of the giants. No! That could not be what she meant. Take a look. This is the last known bridge to Jotunheim in all the realms. See that mountain? Looks like a giant's finger scraping the sky. That's the highest peak in all the realms. No here. Can we just take that bridge? We have a Bifrost. When the giants destroyed all other bridges to their realm, they locked this one up with a secret rune. If it still exists, only a giant would know it. And all of them left Midgard a long time ago. True. But today, the winds of fate have kicked up a strange vortex of coincidence. Fact is, there's only one person alive who can get you where you need to go. And luckily for you, my schedule's wide open. We're going to Jodenheim, right? It's your best and only move from a tactical standpoint. It's the one place the man who cannot be killed won't follow you. What do we do? Yes! First, you need to cut off my head. Wait, what? Odin made sure that no weapon, not even Thor's hammer, could free my body from these bonds. But fortunately, you don't need my body. The trick is, we need to find someone who can reanimate my head using the old magic. Old magic? Mm. There's a witch of the woods. She knows the old ways. And she'll help. She might do worth a try. But if she fails, he will be dead. He tortures me, you know. Every day, brother. Odin himself sees to it personally, and believe me, there is no end to his creativity. Every single day. This... This isn't living. Very well. Oh, I can't watch this. Brother. In case you can't resurrect me, there's something you need to know. The boy. The longer you wait to tell him his true nature, the more damage you do. He will resent you, and you may lose him forever. There's much about me I would not have him know. Huh? So you value your privacy more than your son? I'm going to cut off your head now. Fair enough. the long-lost realm of the giants that's that's inconvenient yeah that's just what I was going to say soon we'll be able to translate those moose behind runes Remember the way to the witch's house? Yes. 
The woods with the blood red leaves. South of the lake. I know just where to go. I hope she made it back from Alfheim and can bring Lemire back. He seemed nice. Before he cut off his head. I can't believe it was Balder that came to our house. The Aesir god. Balder! And you fought him! And won! Yes. One of Odin's sons, Thor's brother. And now he's hunting us with his nephews. Why is this happening? If we can raise the head, you can ask him. Okay. You know, it's silly, but I secretly hope we find a giant somewhere in that mountain. I guess they really did need Loki, except for the serpent. Maybe the last of us gone. Are you the last of your kind, too? Is that why you don't like to talk about... My them? kind? I mean, your family. Before mother. Where you came from. Mother. Father. Now is not the time for that. Yes, sir. Fucking break! Don't hear me screeching at you whenever you're twiddling your short and curlies. Leave him, boy. No, Pep. Well, you already soiled my solitude, so you may as well join me. You're not hungry. Good. It's not what I was offering. Saw your brother again. Congratulations. And I'm sure you'll let him go and roger my axe good and plenty again, hmm? Let's see the damage. Mm, little canker throat wouldn't know proper weight and balance if it were dangling off his chut. Hmm. Is he eating well enough? I guess. Good. All better. Now what the fuck else you want, huh? Times he gets so wrapped up in his work, Sentry has it the sense to sip us up. And if he does remember, good luck getting him to cook his own meat. Guess I got all the stomach in the family. <laughs> yeah, along with the smarts. You miss him. What, that spit fister? What do you know? I just mean hey, that- do you mind? Trying to concentrate here? Already on a break from my break. Knock of dead with arrows. What next? So, uh, you sticking around for grains of wisdom? Boy, what is the path back to the witch? First we need to find a boat. Oh, guess we're not going back to the witch just yet.
back to the witch from here. That way. Behind the big statue of Thor. So what story were you going to tell? There was one that concerned a hare and a tortoise. Like the witch's house? Unlikely. So what happens? They wager on a race between them. The hare is too confident of victory and foolish, while the tortoise is steady and disciplined. The tortoise wins. You haven't told a lot of stories, have you? Old. The world serpent? Too small. Yeah, but maybe Thor's just really big? Hmm. Unlikely. dropped and the serpent rose right I know she's really powerful do you really think the witch can bring a head back to life? She seems competent in her craft. And we have nothing to lose. If she can't bring it back to life, can we keep the head? No. But you may feed it to the fish. Okay. Ha 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 ha! 
this will lead out. Hey, this does more than decipher those Nusbohem runes. It also contains the travel room. Should we go visit the fire realm? Turn back Aesir. Yes, the gods are welcome here. <gasps> there he is! I hope he remembers us. How's it going, Charlie? Is your witch friend here? What is that name? That's what he told me it was. Or it sounded like in my head anyway. Charlie. Be ready! Improvement. Say their need things upon all who trespass. Read it. Yes, sir. Death to the Raven God, Lord of the Hang. She is here. It is so good to see you again. I knew you weren't dead. <laughs> Hello. Oh, can you bring a head back to life? Uh, I'm not sure I understand what... Wait. Where did you get those? The arrows. Give them to me. Now. They were a gift. Do as she says, boy. These arrows are dangerous. They're wicked. You find any more, you destroy them, understand? Do you understand? Say it! I understand. If I see them, I'll destroy them. It's all I ask. Forgive me. Please, take my arrows in their place. I have no need for them anymore. What's this about a head? <sighs> Do you have any idea who this is? Did you kill him? At his request. He claimed you could revive him. Me? Are you sure you heard him right? Please? <sighs> Take him to the table. Pamela! It's been a long time since I've practiced the old magic. Hold him there. Let's have a look. Well, thankfully his head hasn't decayed much and his brain is still intact. 
Nice clean cut. Cutting off his head of all people. I sure hope you know what you're doing. Now hold his head under the water and don't let go. I mean it. That's enough. It worked! Let me see him. Mamir? You there? Yes. Good. Oh. Hello, Freya. Been a long time. You look well. What I did, I did for them. As far as I'm concerned, death suits you better. I'd bow if I could, Your Majesty. Forgive me. Had I known the Witch in the Woods was Freya herself, I never would have suggested this. Freya? The goddess Freya? You didn't know either. Sorry. When word gets out that Mimir is free, the wrath of Odin won't be far behind. You are god. Leader of the Vanir, once yes, but no longer. You did not think it important to tell me. Are you really going to lecture me about that? We are leaving, boy. But... Now. You're welcome. Why did you do that? We cannot trust her. Because she's a god? Have I taught you nothing, boy? But she's helped us a lot. She lied. Some people value the privacy. Best not to judge, brother. When I require your counsel, Head, I will ask. Fair enough. Get me to Tyr's temple in the Lake of the Nine, and I'll get you to Jotunheim as promised. We know the temple. What's there? Only the last living giant in Midgard. Who better to tell us the way? The World Serpent? Wait, do you know how to talk to him? Indeed. He speaks an obscure tongue more ancient even than these mountains. None are left in Midgard who speak it. Except, of course, for me. You do? It's true. You wouldn't know it to look at him, but Jormungandr is a sparkling conversationalist. Look here.
ready. So, Mamir, why did Freya spit in your face? No. Speak of Baldur. He claims nothing harms him. Aye. Baldur is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. Boasting of a god. Everyone has a weakness. Not him, I'm afraid. Baldur is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. You just said that, Mamir. Did I? What is the source of this power? Well, as I recall, it involved, uh... A spell? Mamir? Parts of my brain must still be coming back to life. Just need a moment to finish waking up. Hope he's not broken. Hey, how do we speak to the serpent? There's a horn on a platform at the middle point of the bridge. Take me to it. Finally! That horn! Now put my lips to the horn. That statue made in honor of Thor, and seen as the world serpent absolutely abhors the fat dauber. He was probably sick of looking at it. But doesn't that hurt? 
Well, he and Thor have a bit of an unpleasant history between them. Or they will, anyway. I guess waking up to see it was worse than the thought of lumps of solid stone passing through his gullet. You want me to ask him? No. Our only concern is your name. <laughs> Members me. Why you? Oh no, that's not right. Eh. Moku no untunku. Ah, oh. Eh. Eko no tunno funno. the pain of your loss. He will help you. Curious. What is it? Oh, nothing to be concerned about. What is he doing? Making sure we're heading in the right direction. Listen closely now. We need two things to get us into the land of the giants. First, we need to learn the travel rune that opens realm travel to Jotunheim. Second, we need to carve that rune into the special gateway. Is that one of the peak where we first met you? Correct. Except the giants, in their infinite wisdom, saw to it that no ordinary chisel would do the job. Only the tip of a magical chisel opens that gate. Luckily, I know where it is. And it's not far. He looks kind of mad for a moment there. Ah, that. You thought I said you were friends of Odin. You'll forgive me. I've never spoken the ancient tongue sober. Wait, look! The water's dropped even further. You can see more of the realm towers and statues. I haven't seen new places to explore along the shore. Where is this chisel? Find me a boat, and we'll go from there. I can read what this says now, but it's a name. Air! Whoa! The name made it light up! It's the name of one of the Valkyries. That's quite curious. So when we get to the boat, we can either look for that special chisel now, or go exploring for a little while. I'm happy with whatever you want to do. Nightmares, ugh! An awful pest! <laughs> Far behind you! Here. Boy. Yes, sir. The 
Come here. You never did tell me why Freya spit in your face. Well, she blames me in large measure for her present circumstances, and not totally without reason. Enough. No stories. Not while on foot. Our focus is the road. Completely understand. Too early. I'll finish later, lad. You who walks among the living, my beloved Gulvig calls to me. She yearns for peace, yet her remains lie in pieces. I beg of you, make my Gulvig whole again. You want us to collect her bones? Gross. Gulvig say their magic knows no bounds. She can reunite you with those you've lost. Really? How? Boy. I can smell your grief, child. Rest assured, her magic is strong enough to create bridges between life and death. If only for a short while. Boy, we are leaving. They've taken three of Sweet Gulvig's bones and spread them across the lake. Bring me her bones, child. Gulvig will reward you. <laughs> Good. The special chisel is ahead past this gate. should look for those bones. Why? Didn't you hear him? We could talk to Mom again. If we keep an eye out look while Look if you we... wish, boy. I will not be distracted by this fool's errand. This chisel we seek. What is it? I'm glad you asked, actually. I have just the story for you. <clears throat> there was a giant once named Thamri. A very giant giant. Who, despite his mountainous size, was without question the greatest stonemason this world had ever seen. Proud Thamur hoped to one day pass his vast knowledge onto his son. But young Harimthur had the heart of a warrior. Perhaps the father had too much fear in him, or the son too little. Either way, a quarrel of theirs spiraled out of control, and the overworked stonemason, bonk, struck his son. Arinthur ran off into- These bones pulse with magic. It must be Golvi. Could we... Could we just hold on to it? Maybe we'll find the rest of them. This spirit lies to you, boy. How would you know? I have known many spirits. They are all liars. This one is different. I know it. You know very little. You want a beach? 
here. Bothar. Freemund. Are, are you okay? No, son. My goods are underwater. My men are drowned, and yet their bodies continue to walk the beaches. Hellwalkers. They plagued these lands. I was their captain. They died because of me. But these abominations sully their memories. I will find a way to free them from their tortured state. In this, I am determined. The thunderstorm scattered all three of my ships across the lake. I know not what it is. Govig's bones. What will you say to her? To Govig? Your mother. What have you left up? And said. I. I guess. I just want to know if she's okay. She is dead, boy. I know that. I... You don't understand. Neither do you. Opportunities for hunting and trade in these lands. I gave up my search what for What would you say? Nothing. Nothing? There is nothing left to say. What about everything we've done so far? That man coming to the house? Talking to the world serpent? We've done so many amazing things. I just want to tell her about them. Don't you? What else would you say to her? I tell her that we're both okay. Not to worry about us. Atreus, I... I miss her too. You know this. I thought I knew very little. Look here. Sir. The final bone. Yeah. 
We might as well return them to the spirit. Maybe he will keep his word. I know she's not coming back, okay? I know. I just... Never mind. I just gotta return the bones. I wonder why Goofy's bones are all over the place. Desecration, typically. Pieces of scattered corpse make for a piss poor soul. No hope for Valhalla or Helheim when your arm's on one beach and your head's on another. Why not ask the spirit? I'm sure he will be forthcoming with answers. We have collected the rest of your woman's corpse spirit. Show us this magic you have promised. Ah, oh, my sweet Gulvik. Whole again. Rise, dear Gulvik. Awaken, O oh powerful Gulvik! Evni Ukar Bithyast. She says she'll honor our request. Eldi Fagnar. And reunite us? In Okay, you're right. This is true as well, but do not take your disappointment out on me, boy. Take it as a lesson. Yes, sir. Killed him. Oh no. If 
found the village? Aye. When Thamar fell, he crushed a charming place famed for worshipping the Vanir god Njord. Thor always took credit for planning that one. But the truth is, the sweaty ball bag just got lucky. Beast, we will take him down together. of one, yes. A very, very giant chisel. Magically sealed, I'm afraid. Darn. That didn't seem to do anything. Survivors. Oh, Thamur was a frost guy. When he died, his final breath froze everything. Find the tip of that chisel. That's the magic we need. <laughs> 